All right, hello everyone, it's Happy, and today we're going to be talking about the updated FOSH. Now, this updated FOSH is a little bit different, and I would say in a more positive way compared to the old one. Now, the old one had a much better DPM compared to the new FOSH. However, however, the new FOSH can actually use its drum potential much better. The new interclip is now 3.75 seconds, so just over three and a half seconds. So in that time frame, you can do a thousand damage. In three and a half seconds, you can do 1000 damage. That is some insane amount of numbers. And even though the actual DPM is now much lower, the fact is that you can utilize the gun in a much better fashion and use your damage fully. Because before, who the hell would wait, you know, over seven seconds for your drum to reload? Like, that didn't make sense. Nowadays, the Fosh can just pump out 1,000 damage, you know, in just under four seconds, and that's perfect. Because you can come in, give someone two shots, and pull back. Simple as that. You don't lose as much HP. And of course, um, therefore, you live longer and you can do more damage, of course. So that makes 100% sense. And I think this gives a Fosh a new life. Uh, I did play a little bit of a session. And to be honest, the teams were trash. The, the gameplay was a bit trash as well because the gun just wasn't shooting properly. Like, the biggest thing about the Fosh is that it does have armor, but everyone can penetrate you somehow because the cupola has you know, is an obvious weak spot, and then you have the um, the humongous uh, sides, which can be HE'd, the rear can be HE'd, if you turn slightly, anyone can penetrate you through the tracks, so you have big problems like that, even though the frontal armor realistically is strong, most people will just automatically switch to HE, especially if you're in a clinch with another tank as well, your frontal armor becomes like nullified because of course under an angle your armor is no longer existent. Therefore I wouldn't necessarily suggest clinching in the Fosh, it's one of the worst ideas possible, please don't do it, it's not a tank meant for clinching. Um, the gun as well, even though the DPM is now a lot worse, but you can utilize the, the alpha more, and uh, of course m do more damage the fact of the matter is that the aim time and overall gun handling is just still horrendous on the Fosh for a 500 alpha gun the, the 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 alpha per shot is 500 yet the aim time and gun handling is just it's it's completely rubbish and it's probably one of the worst things about the Fosh on the other side, you do have some great mobility, which allows you to get to certain positions very, very, very quickly and switch around the flanks. However, on the opposite side to that, you have horrible traverse speed. So like pulling backwards is going to be like, like the reverse speed on this thing is like absolutely horrendous and uh, it's going to suck big time for you. So you have to keep all of that in mind when you're playing. This tank is a first slash second line tank. No way is it meant for camping, but overall a solid tank and a good update. So tell me what you guys think about the Fosh in the comment section below. And with that, happy is out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.